my name is Sting and you're watching Echo for the World. Our planet is calling out for help. And companies are answering with environmental and sustainable development. The R House Carlstrom Group is helping to improve the lives of women in Burkina Faso, Africa. In West Africa, there's a tree that's held in such high regard that it's protected at all cost. The locals think of it as a holy tree. Maybe that's because without it, their lives would be very difficult to sustain. To the people of Burkina Faso, the shea tree is life. For us here, the butter has a lot of importance. It's the main focus of the women in the village. We use the money generated from this to buy clothes for our children and to send them to school. It represents a lot to us. The shea tree produces a nut-like kernel that can be used for a lot of different things. When it's ground and pressed, it produces a rich oil. That oil is used locally for cooking, skin care and medicine. The extra shea butter and kernels are sent overseas to companies that produce specialty fats for confectionery, chocolate and cosmetics. Selling the shea kernels are one of the few sources of income for women in Burkina Faso. And the amount of manual, physical work it takes to produce them is enormous. But things are changing, thanks to help received from the Aarhus Kalsham Group, the biggest customer for the shear kernels they collect. The importance of the shear kernel prompted Aarhus to see what they could do to enable the women to gather more shear kernels and increase their income. First of all, uh, we start with uh, the fact that uh, we need she kernels. You know, this is uh, a very, very important raw material for this business, for, for making uh, chocolate and confectionery fats. So, uh, and then you, you plan a strategy, and uh, that strategy is to secure uh, a stable supply and a growing supply, because it's a growing business for us. And uh, it was very important uh, in this strategy to uh, make sure that at origin in West Africa there is a motivation to, uh, to collect kernels and to market it. R has decided to join a UNDP Burkina Faso project that had already been successful in Mali. The base is a simple diesel engine that you can attach different types of mechanized tools to. By doing this you multiply the use of that engine. In this case it's called the MFP, the Multifunction Platform. So the first uh, real uh, eye-opener was how uh, an everyday could be changed by, instead of using these manual tools, they could take a basket of, for instance, cereals, go to a platform, and within a couple of minutes, they had it processed. Il y a quelques années, tout était fait à la main. Everything used to be done by hand. Now we can use this machine to do everything, which allows us to make more shea nut butter. And this brings in more revenue. The project has been so successful the women have developed a shear nut cooperative, which helps them with sales and quality control. Laboratory monitoring gives them a tool to increase product value through higher quality. 
The objective of the project is to distribute 400 of the multifunction platforms in Burkina Faso. This simple idea has had a huge impact in the lives of the people who gathered the sheer kernels. More kernels can be collected and sold to AAK, meaning more income for the women and their families. For the people of Burkina Faso, their holy tree now represents an even better way of life.